A cheese. A cheese. Ew. What? Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I need to take a picture of that. <gasps> That's adorable. It's update day. I am ready for this update. Ow. Welcome to the update of Blockburg. Okay, I guess we should just go ahead and look at the update logs right now. <gasps> okay, here we go. This is version 0.12.5. Hey, Bloxburgers, are you ready to downgrade your builds with our unique Bloxburg Thrift Shop Discoveries? Unlike our conventional furniture sets, your builds will be degraded into a whole new level with our broken themed items and food. Doing a zombie apocalypse roleplay? We got you. Wanting to create a haunted house? even better so come play Bloxburg today and see all the broken beauty we have prepared for you so they added broken themed items uh added new wall assets added five new materials <gasps> and major bug fixes all right it's time the updates so first things first we're gonna go ahead and look into a build mode here so um build new let's see oh my goodness I need a bunch of like decorative walls one moment let me go ahead and put these down so we can see all of this in its glory all right so the first thing we have here is a broken sunset window a broken and board up window some wind might blow through on occasion but that just adds to the ambience ambience right oh my gosh ah look at it it's cracked cracked mirror all boarded up oh my gosh we also have a broken door a broken and boarded up door the handle might be missing but it's probably safe and stable i love that Wait, this is great, guys. <gasps> oh, wow. Ooh. We also have a large floor hole. Oh, I'll put a little basement here and then you can cover it up. Oh my gosh, look. Look. Oh, why is it not perfect? Okay, there you go. Are you a person looking for a brave, interesting, out there interior design? Is taking the stairs to the lower floor too slow for you? Oh boy, do we have the solution for you. Get downstairs in a millisecond with a hole in the floor. As you can see, this is what I've done with it. The grass has a hole in it. All right, so next we have is a broken traditional window. Okay, that's the same as the other one. Oh my gosh. Look at that, that's a huge one. Oh wow. Then we also have an exposed wall opening. If you hear squeaking sounds, it's important to locate the source quickly. Even if you need to open up a hole or two in the wall to do it. Uh, can you actually hear squeaks through that? I'm kind of curious. I'm wondering if that's gonna be like a little detail. I'm just going to make the hole in the wall larger. We also have another type of hole in the wall. Oh wait, this is an exposed wall opening. This one's a hole in the wall. You wanna experience the magic of quantum superposition in your own home? Exist in two rooms simultaneously without even opening a door? Well, now you can, introducing a hole in the wall. Whoever writes these descriptions, amazing. I know. So good. <gasps> we have an exposed wall surface as well. When making a hole in the wall, whether accidentally or on purpose, it's important to avoid damage to any load bearing or support of structures. Luckily, the wooden support beams in this hole are, are in great condition. This is what I saw. So yeah, it's another item you can do. <gasps> you can change it. You can change the material of it. That is pretty neat. I'm actually so curious about this exposed wall here. All right, and the last what we have in build mode is the exposed wall piping. Oh, so that's what it looks like. And it says, the easiest way to inspect the hidden pipes in your home is always the most direct approach. Making a hole in the wall, you can make this one larger as well. I'm going to make an abandoned house. Expect lots of abandoned homes with this update or um, I'm actually, one of the things I'm going to do is make an abandoned looking house and renovate that. So that's going to be exciting. Those are all the things in build mode. Let's go to decorate in new and see what we can. Um... Okay. All right. Here we go. <gasps> A mouse hole. Wait. A small hole that suddenly appeared in your wall. Look carefully, something might peek out from it. This exposed wall, they talk about squeaking. So this is the real one. <gasps> are there going to be mice in here? Wait, I need to see. I need to see. I need to see. Oh gosh. Okay. Is something gonna happen? It costs block bugs for a reason. There's gotta be something with this one. Is there gonna be like a mouse? Did they add a mouse in this game? We need a good look at this. Good look. I'm scared. Maybe we'll have to like put some cheese next to that or something. But it's a small hole that suddenly appeared in your wall. Look carefully. Something might peek out from it. If it takes so long, place a piece of cheese. Ah! Place a piece of cheese in front of the hole and see if you can lure it out. Wait, wait, wait. I wanna do this right now. <gasps> oh, question mark! A cheese! A cheese! Ew! Oh! Oh, it's a mouse! <gasps> Wait! What? Oh, that is so cute! Oh my gosh. I need to take a picture of that. <gasps> That's adorable! That is so cute! Look at it trying to drag the cheese in there. What is that? Oh! Uh, 
I can't believe it. That was so beautiful. I love that. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. All right. Sorry, I got distracted. So the next thing we have is a stacked wooden palette. Um, some carelessly stacked wooden palettes. The perfect way to display all your beloved wooden palettes in a somewhat organized way. Oh my gosh. Love that. That's a good palette. And we also have a wooden crate. It has never been cheaper or more wonderfully rustic. And I'm going to put it on top of those palettes there. Wait, I love that's really cool too. Um, next thing we have is a wooden palette, just like a single palette by itself. So there's that. Oh, can be used as a stable base for greater things, or just sit by itself if you feel like the final thing needed to bring your room together in a leftover. <gasps> I'm building a house. I'm building a house out of these wooden palettes. You heard it here first. <gasps> Wait, how much does this rescale? Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh. Wait, I'm building a house out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna be building a house out of the wooden palettes. Wait, how big can these go? Okay, not that. How big can this go? Oh, this crate can get... Oh, <gasps> I can see some stuff coming from this. Wait, maybe like um those farmer's markets? You can put like stuff in there? I don't know. Next thing we have is a wooden pallet double bed. Oh, it's a cheap bed. This wooden pallet bed is perfect for when you accidentally spent all your money on a house but forgot you need to pay for furniture as well. But who says you have to be limited to that? Buy this bed for any home where you want that makeshift furniture vibe. That is great. Yes. Wow. Budget role plays, like budget gameplay now. This is great. If you can't afford a real bed, like an actual bed, this is close enough, pretty much. All right, oh, here we go. We got a bug be gone spray. I need to see what this last part says because um, I didn't know. Flying from your pool car. Huh? Anti any bug. Flying from your pool car. What in the world? What in the world? Okay, that's interesting. All right, so um, eliminate all bugs with bug be gone. Guaranteed to eradicate both insect bugs and technical bugs. Keep away from children and animals. And then we also have an old mattress. When you have spent all your money on fancy plants and had to sell your bed to make rent, this terrible but very cheap mattress will do the trick. May contain some friends to keep you itchy. What? Are there roaches in this game? Are there roaches that come with this? That'd be so funny. Wow, $50? <gasps> <gasps> Building a house on a budget is going to be so good now because like all of these like cheap items. All right, the next thing we have is an empty cinder block bookcase. Oh my gosh, wait, they have a filled one. <gasps> wait, I like this. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, this actually looks so nice. I might use it in my house like as a normal thing. Is that weird? Probably. I don't know. Okay, that's really nice. But we also have a broken sofa. Becoming independent and moving into your own place is a big step for anyone. Luckily, you found this diamond in the rough on the side of the street and managed to grab it before anyone else could. It may be a bit worn down. Just call it shabby chic and you'll be on the front page of a fashion magazine in no time. Slightly more comfortable than the floor and mostly stable. I'm going to break this. Wait, I love this texture. What is this texture? It's dirt stains. I'm going to be using that a lot. It's a new texture. We're, we'll look into those eventually. But yeah, I love this. All right, the next thing we have is a broken coffee table. A, bro a coffee table that has seen better days, but is still standing despite it all. There you go, guys. That's some motivational right there. It can barely make it through the day. Just know a broken coffee table made it, you know? Like, if you're having a bad day, think of this bro broken coffee table. I will. Oh, a lonely light bulb. It's hanging from the ceiling, lonely and perhaps not that pretty. It still brings a bright light into even the darkest of rooms. I'm gonna add it right there, even though... This is not a room, but yeah, there's a new light bulb. I missed it. I missed this from the teaser, so that's fun. Um, there's a mouse trap. <gasps> a mouse might be a cute thing to look at, but if you're not careful, they will try to steal your cheese. Keep them away with this mouse trap, but be careful not to actually step on it yourself. I'm going to step on this. I'm going to step on that. Broken toilet. A pro flush wall toilet. I love how it's just quick and simple to the point. There you go. Um, we also have a wall-mounted stained sink. This simple yet affordable sink does the job just as well as many others. As an added bonus, it waters your floor with the poorly wrapped leaking pipe underneath. <laughs> wow, it waters your floors. Water your floors, guys. Water your floors. There's Morgan across the street with all this new stuff. <gasps> the clothesline. Okay, this is what I'm excited for. You need to draw your clothes somewhere and wear better than on a line. Could be put up between two trees, a couple of statues, or even two buildings. If you're rich enough, uh, whatever it's attached to, the line works just as great. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it. I'm attaching it to my book my bookcase. My bookcase. Actually, I'm not doing that. Attaching it to the light bulb. Ow. I love me a clothesline. The broken chair. Just because something is broken doesn't mean it's useless. Sometimes that's all that's needed is a little support. I love this. I love this so much. Wait, this is so good. If you're living on a budget, this is the perfect thing. All right, the next thing we have is a wooden spool table. 
Need a table on a budget and want to save the environment at the same time? This repurposed wooden spool was ethically and locally sourced from a steel cable factory waste disposal location and could be yours for a very competitive price. May contain toxic chemicals. Oh no, that is not good. All right, the broken stove. It is an older stove and even combo may look completely not low and behold, most of the stovetops still work. And who needs an oven anyway? At this price, you simply can't say no. So they're saying it's functional, right? Ooh, pile of trash. Does it leave a stink effect? particle no i think what they did from the teaser was use like a fog machine for all of that stench you know yeah oh large industrial pipe update tailing here okay so those what the, those those are what those look like i'm not gonna read it picked all right so that is everything from build mode and um decorate very very interesting update we have ourselves here let me go ahead and um the door works guys it works the windows work um you could probably somehow manage to squeeze in here probably not actually that's kind of a kind of a tight squeeze but there's that. The sink. Oh my gosh. The Everything just works. E even the stove works. Wow. It works normal. You know, it works like normal furniture. You know? Like, I'm so glad they did that. I can't wait to build a house out of these pallets. Here is me using my new bug, Be Gone Spray. Cheese. No cheese. Cheese. No cheese. It's perfect for the basements, guys. Perfect for the basements. Well, that's all the furniture. Um... I wonder... Okay, wait. Oh my gosh, I forgot the materials. Okay, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the new materials now. Sorry, that's just... Um, they said five, so I'm going to place on five walls here. The first thing we have, starting from here... <gasps> Old, wide, horizontal planks! What? Oh my gosh, wait. Wait, this is going to be... The floor. I, I want to use that for my floor. I want to use that. I want to use that for my flooring. Don't be surprised if I use this for like all my new builds and stuff yeah all right moving on to the next material we have is wide vertical is this new wide vertical planks um old wide vertical planks okay that's new that's new hold on let me there you go we have horizontal and old wide vertical planks very nice i don't think that one's new i think that might not be new okay wide horizontal oh they're wide ones okay i see so we had vertical planks but we have wide ones now so that is new okay sorry my bad okay um uh, we have wide horizontal planks as well very cool i'm also going to be using that a lot and last but not least the broken tiles as we saw from the teasers i think those are all the new oh wait no no it's not that's not all of it that's not it guys that's not it Wait, there's more. There's a lot. Stained uneven stripes. This was the other one I was expecting. And then we also have dirt stains, which is another new material. So technically, wait, they said five new materials, but I'm seeing six, unless this isn't new. Okay, let's use the dirt stains. All this from the um, texture, the material from like the couch and stuff. This is great. I think I got all of them. Those are all the new materials. It is up close and personal. I really am a big fan of this texture. It might be like old, but I, I'm going to be using it. I'm going to be using it. It's going to be great. I really like these. They did really well on these materials here. I think that is pretty much it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. But this is a really cool update. And I actually am curious about using this stove. Are there any new foods? I'm wondering. Okay, let me make some cookies real quick. I'm going to use it. I don't know why I'm baking inside. Oven is broken. Oh, that's a fun detail. Oh my gosh. Wait, so it doesn't work. So the stovetop works then, right? Uh, one of my favorite things though is this this mouse hole thingy. I love how it's just like a question mark, you know? It's adorable. Can we talk about how well animated this is though? The animator did amazing. Wow. It's so cute! It is adorable. Wow. It's so cute. I know, right? So well animated. I named it Bart. Just because I am curious, I'm gonna check through the fridge real quick, just like very quickly. Oh, <gasps> wait, there is new food. Easy noodles. Oh my gosh. Wait, they finally added ramen, guys. They added ramen. Oh, you just put in the microwave? We got instant noodle. Oh my gosh, look. Look at it. Easy noodles, chicken and leek flavor. Just add water. I didn't add water. Is it burnt now? Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe they've done it. They've, they've, They've done it, guys. They've done it. We finally got noodles. It's one of the food items I've been wanting a lot in this game. So, well, that will wrap up today's video. Um, What do you guys think of it? On a scale of 1 to 10, what would you rate it? I actually think this was a pretty cool one. So basically, like a brand new furniture set. And they added noodles. I can't complain about the noodles. I really love the mouse. I think that's my favorite part about the update. But 
these these items are just amazing too. Yeah, great. <laughs> this is a great update. What kind of stuff are you going to build with this? Let me know. Okay, that was it. Have a nice day. Happy update day.